<laughs> I'm getting strong! Behold, Behold the power, the power of, the of the one true, true Dragon Knight! Knight. of humanity no matter what you say it was the dark army that took my master of Vaughn's life I'd rather die I would rather not have to harm you but if this is truly how you feel Understand your feelings. This tantrum has gone on too long. Don't call me that! My name is Die. It's the name my grandpa gave to me. I see. Very well. Then I suppose I shall call you by your human name. So, Die, I shall defeat you as a hero who fights for the humans. If you will not submit yourself to me, this will be your end. Behold, Behold the power, the power of, the of the one true Dragon Knight! I'm on the side of humanity no matter what you say! It was the Dark Army that took my Master of Vaughn's life! I'd rather die! I would rather not have to harm you. But if this is truly how you feel... Preposterous! <laughs> Oh! 
con ahí. has gone on too long. Spirit and courage, I shall show you just how terrifying it is when a true Dragon Knight controls the heavens. Kazap! Damage, but all I've got is. Stop! I shall face that man. Beast King Crocodile, it's you! But, King Vern! Big trouble! With you here, it's like having an army! Buddy, you're shaking! Crocodile, I trust you are fully aware of what will happen if you try to stand against me here today. This might be my end, but that's something I'm prepared to do. We'll fight with you! Don't bother, I don't know how. But he's completely immune to spells. 
I think the only way to damage him is if I attack directly by hand or with a weapon. I see you figured it out. Well done, Beast King. If you know what's going on, then why stand in my way? Why should I not reclaim my own son? Because Dai doesn't want it. Oh, I see. So you've completely sided with the humans, have you? Isn't that a shame? Of all the Legion commanders, I think I respected you the most. That boy Hyunkel wasn't bad either, with his hate for humans in that heart of ice. But everyone I favor seems to leave the Dark Army. I suppose Hadlar just lacks charisma. That's not true. I don't know about Hyunkel, but I was willing to lay down my life for Lord Hadlar, and the same for Dark King Vern. A true warrior denies himself for his master. All that's changed is that now I support Dai. Without Dai, both Yunkel and I would have wandered the dark path forever. He is the sun that brought light into our hearts of darkness. To change the heart of a warrior such as Crocodile, quite the child, the sun, a child of the sun. Sola. Crocodile, I see I won't change your mind. But if you do fight me, you will learn the terror of facing a true Dragon Knight. The complete power of dragons is far beyond what you've seen die do! What is this? His aura is staggering, but he's just standing there. If you won't fight, then I'll claim your head! It can't be! My axe cannot be shattered! Behold the secret to the Dragon Knight's supremacy, the Draconic Aura! When this Dragon Crest shines, my body is enveloped in a current of life energy. It is called the Draconic Aura. It's an unmatched defensive ability that will repel any kind of incantation. Now that I've fully deployed my protective aura, you'll find that in battle, there is no creature in the entire world that can stand against me! Now, my friend, you can fight no longer. Surrender. Princess, go and help die. Okay, I'll try casting full heal. What are you doing, boy? If my magic isn't going to work, I'll have to use this thing! You can't be that stupid. The reason I defeated Crocodile so thoroughly just now is because he's the type of monster that's the greatest threat to me. Indeed, the Draconic Aura will deflect any type of spell, but a truly great force may still be able to pierce my defenses and deal fatal damage to me directly. Crocodile is mighty. A strike from a weakling mage like you will be of no consequence at all. I still have to try! Okay, here goes. Huh? Hey, Crocodile! I told you, Pop. You just leave this one to me. You're in no condition to fight. I still have my left arm. Even though it might look like I've been blinded, I can still see with my inner eye. The inner eye that you... you cleared for me. Uh, I did? That's right. Back when we fought in Romos, you risked your life to face me. Someone you couldn't hope to beat. You showed me the greatness of humanity, trusting and fighting together as one. 
the one who cleared the filth that was staining my heart. But you know that. Crocodile. That's why I will risk my life as well. Moran may be unbeatable, but I couldn't call myself your friend if I did nothing to really stop him. Here we go, Moran. This is my final attack. You brute. I've already dodged your best attack, but let's see what you can do anyway. And I doubt that you dodge this. <sighs> Giga break. I held back earlier when I used this on my son, but I won't this time. Though some might show mercy on a former ally, I cannot let anyone praise humanity and allow them to survive! I'll reduce you both to ashes! It can't be! No way! Looks like Dai's back in the fight! And what difference do you really think it'll make? You just made it easier. Easier to get all of you. Aga! What's impossible? Crocodile, I need you to follow my aim and then use that attack! Got it! Avant strike! I see it! Beast King! Redemption Blast! Crocodile! Your eye! What did he do to it? It's alright, Dai. It's nothing. Don't worry about this whole beast. Leona! We need you to look at Crocodine's eye! Got it. Merla! It's alright. He has a cut on his eyelid. Wait a second. What are you still doing here, you two? Well, I wanted us to run, but this one here insisted on staying and helping you. They needed us, and I know how to perform all the basic heal spells, too. You should go! Leave the healing to Leona and run! The boy is right, young lady. Maybe if it was anyone else, but Baran is the deadliest soldier in the entire Dark Army. But still, after being hit by an attack like that one... He fully deployed his draconic aura to resist your combined attack! We're so doomed! Avon Strash and Beast King Redemption Blast and he's completely undamaged? What are we supposed to do? No! I think it worked! He's got the same red blood that we all do! Impossible. They broke through my draconic aura and landed a legitimate attack. Even with help from his friends, for such a small child, but it wasn't just his strength alone. The power of his friends had great influence. Dai's comrades, they risked their lives and did everything they could. In turn, his compassion for them filled his heart and multiplied his power. Unless that bond is broken, Dai's might will continue to grow. He may even eventually become a threat to me. Crocodine, it looks like our attacks had an effect after all. In that case... Indeed. Either he's going to fall, or all of us will. Let's keep fighting and find out, shall we? What a shame that the same ploy won't work twice. You're not going to be able to evade my Giga Break with your pathetic tricks again. However, one can never be certain. The boy is capable of a terrifying amount of potential. And so now, I will use all my remaining energy to destroy your source of power!
His aura is gone! Now what is he up to? <laughs> what? What's going on? It's acting on its own! Noise is gone! Baron! What did you do? I have taken what my son no longer needs. I've used too much of my strength. For now, I will have to retreat. But I shall return to reclaim Dino, my son. Okay? Oh, what a relief! We were worried! What's wrong? You look confused or something. Wh who are... you guys? What am I even doing out here? I summon you, Masters of the Three Disciplines. It is time for the Dragon Legion to go to battle. Member of the Dragon Masters, Skyrider Galdendi is here! This is Sea Rider Borahor, King of the Sea! Land Rider Larhart. At your service. Thank you for coming. I have been waiting. It's been three years, hasn't it? Too long since we were last summoned. Requiring all of us means it's something big. Something that could test our strength. Has the time come for some real destruction? <laughs> it would seem that my son Dino is alive after all. The hero die who fights the Dark Army is my long lost son. Master Dino? What a cruel twist of fate. I've already fought the group of warriors the boy is leading. The bond between them all was stronger than I anticipated, and I was forced to concede. But how is that possible? I guess that explains it, why we're out here at Argo Point. This is where the Fountain of Miracles resides. It's a place of healing for the Dragon Knights. However, that was not my only reason for coming here. He's thinking about his wife. We understand, General Baron. You'll be needing the three of us to assist in the capturing of young Master Dino. Exactly. My son has made troublesome allies. 
They would risk death for die the hero. The humans can display terrifying strength when they're prepared to die. If his allies should resist, the three of you must crush them. In the meantime, I shall reclaim my son. Sir! I must prepare for battle. Wait for me here. Sola, I will get our son back from those filthy humans. Now, my Dragon Legion, we ride to the Terran Kingdom. When my son Dino joins our forces, our strength shall be absolute! Right then, follow me! After Baran's attack, the party sheltered in Merla's cottage. Though Crocodile's eye looked like it would heal, Dai, on the other hand, had completely lost his memory, incapacitating him. Whenever he attempted to remember the past, he got a splitting headache. Thus, Leona decided to have him meet the King of Terran. How intriguing! That supernatural storm was caused by the Dragon Knight, and this child is none other than his son. It may have been a psychic signal of some kind that took his memories. Think of it as a mental wave emitted from the Dragon Crest. So how can we get his memory back to normal? Sadly, I do not know. We merely worship the God of Dragons. We know the history of the Dragon Knight, but we've barely begun to understand the extent of their powers. I understand. Then, will you please protect Dai in your fortress for a time, Your Majesty? It's the most fortified building in the kingdom. You still seek to fight the Dragon Knight? Yes, we do. While the people of Terran may regard Baron's attack as some kind of divine will, it's an attack against humanity, and we stand against any aggression. Ah, uh, I see. I had heard of the bravery of the Princess of Papnica. Kanar, you will aid the Princess Leona and her party. Thank you very much, Your Highness. An energy of great wrath! It's coming! Straight for this kingdom! That's not all! There are other similar energies. Three of them! What are you doing? Let me... let me out of here! Isn't this going too far? Young lady, do you know what imprinting is? It's something that happens in the animal world sometimes. Whenever a beast of my species hatches from its egg, it assumes the first thing it sees is its parent. Baron's reduced Dai to the state of a newly hatched infant. If Dai encounters him now, he'll probably accept Baron as his father. The mark they both bear is irrefutable proof. Because of that, we have no choice but to do this. It's cruel, but it's for his own good. <laughs> They're headed straight for Terran. From the southeast! They're the other sources of energy you sensed, Merla! Could they be the Dragon Masters? The most powerful beings who serve Baron? With dragons under their control, they're said to rival even the Legion commanders! We may not be strong enough to hold them back! If only Hyunkel were here... <laughs> well, I guess that blows it. We're definitely done for! Really sorry, but I am not dying for nothing. <laughs> 
I'm bailing out. You guys can do whatever, and I mean whatever you like. So you're saying that, that you're not going to help us? I'm saying that I am out. If they're that strong, there's no point in resisting. You're all just fooling yourselves. But Pop, do you understand what that would mean? Uh, you're the ones who don't understand. Dai barely knows who he is. We're falling apart, and now we're facing the toughest Legion. With those odds, you'd have to be crazy to consider fighting. And I thought that fighting for your friends, even when there's no hope, was what you disciples of Avon truly believed in. He is right. I thought you were Dai's best friend. Are you really willing to abandon him now after all this time? Don't worry about him. After all, he's not even a human. He is one of them, isn't he? So why not just give him back? They'll take good care of him. <laughs> Fine, then. Get out of my sight. Cowards aren't much use to us anyway. Well, that's a relief. Thanks a lot! No, Pop! Wait a minute! Do not go after him, Crocodine. We will still need you right here defending this position. Yes, but... I've always admired the Disciples of Avon. I was actually hoping to learn from Master Avon before we lost him. I believed that Pop would stay with us because he was one of those disciples. I never thought he could be so cowardly. What could have happened to all your courage, young Pop? Stop! Merla. Was it all a lie? You said I was your friend, even if he was a monster. Were those words, those tears, all a lie? Then I... I hate you! I can't believe I actually liked you! You know, it's funny. This reminds me of that time when Ma'am punched me and said I disgusted her. But this isn't like back then. If I tried to go alone, you'd all stop me. That's why I had to say that. I'm sorry. Look after Die, everyone. I'll stop them, even if I don't come back. I may not win, but at least I'll take one or two of them out with me. So take care of the rest. To stop us, just a wimpy little brat. Galdandi, watch yourself. He can cast spells stronger than you'd expect. Try and stop us alone. Master, why don't you leave this one to us? We will catch up with you later. You should hurry ahead and find Dino. Very well then. I will leave this fight to you. But do not underestimate him. As I said before, humans who are prepared to die can display terrifying strength. I'm leaving now. Zoom! 
here! Know your place, boy. A pipsqueak like you couldn't beat Master Baron in a million years! What a bet! Come for With one single breath, huh? Ha ha ha! You really thought you could fight the Dragon Masters with spells like that? Take this! <laughs> That's enough, Borahor. He's nothing more than a fledgling. We shouldn't make him suffer. Let's just get this over with, all right? I guess. For a toy, he's not very fun to play with. Mm. Mm. to take the boy off your hands if you two don't want him anymore. He's juicy human prey. It's no fun unless we take our time killing him. They're strong. Uh, uh, they're going to kill me. All right. If I'm going to die, I have to at least hit them once or twice. Otherwise, what's the point of dying? Ah! You give up already, kid? It hurts. I'm done for. Please, just let your dragon end it already. <laughs> you weakling. Oh well, since you asked so nicely. Sizzle! The kid. She really down Galdandi's favorite Imperial Serpent? But his resistance is going to come with a steep price. That takes care of their dragons. Now the real fight starts. This... this is impossible! How could you die, Rude? <laughs> <laughs> What are you crying about, Birdface? You're a monster! You've destroyed entire kingdoms! Killed tons of humans! So what? Rude was an ethereal serpent! And the only friend I ever trusted! We were always together, no matter what! How dare you compare my beloved dragon to some filthy little humans?! I'll slice you to pieces! So many, they'll never even find you! 